This video is made for adult collectors because these two were perceived as racial stereotypes when the film came out. The twins. We were bound to talk about these two at some point. I'm gonna start this video out with, I don't care if you find the twins okay or not. You can like them, it doesn't bother me. I just want people to understand that a large majority of the regular people who saw the Revenge of the Fallen thought these characters were in very poor taste and that's why they weren't in Dark of the Moon and have not seen any Studio Series toys. Not to mention their toys horribly shell-formed in most of the parts of the world. Mark, the designer at Hasbro, you know, the guy who's in charge of Legacy, actually blocks people who ask him about the twins. So I don't think Hasbro is generally interested in making these guys again, as A, like I said, they shell-formed so bad they were leaking into other lines, and B, they were stereotypes. Hopefully this video doesn't get me blocked by Mark. I like, Mark, you're great. Just, just, just do me a favor, and let's try to keep the massive discussion like this out of the comments, simply because I know it will cause arguments, and I'd rather avoid those. So let's keep this place tame. What you can comment about, though, is how shit this thing is, because it sucks. No wonder these sold poorly other than being non-desirable characters. These things, th this thing is ready to explode. I'll show you later in the transformation how easy it is just to flick this thing into robot mode. The alt mode does look nice though, I'll give it that. But it's still just some rough ass thing that's not tabbing together, especially at the front. Right by the underside of the windshield, it just does not like staying tabbed in there. It's pretty poo. I do like the bumper stickers and the license plate though. I think those are pretty neat. And I feel like more Transformers should do bumper stickers and creative license plates. And I have heard the Dark of the Moon ones are better than this, but like, nah, mate. No, I'm not, I'm not getting that. It is a nice size, but if you want Studio Series scale, this probably isn't going to fit. The ice cream truck ones though, I find fit more, but I don't have those anymore. Although I have to get them now for the Hunt for the Decepticon shelf. Damn it, that's the only reason I got this. It's because I want every retail release to Hunt for the Decepticons <laughs> toy. <coughs> and this is just one of those. And it's pain. So, something interesting about this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab Bumblebee here from Studio Series. And you can tell we've come a long way because if I just pull the arm out and give it a shake, it's, it's come apart a little bit, but not a lot. Right, like that's 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 some pretty good uh, that's some pretty good build quality. Right, I'll fix it later. Gids, on the other hand, let's just zoom out. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab him by like here. Give me something to hold on to. There we go. The door. It's 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 not as bad as I thought actually. I oh there we go. There it goes. <laughs> um, like it's just it's just a crumpled mess of parts when you go to like transform this thing and uh rotate this around there we go bring this out and then try to finagle the shoulders into oh into place get this out the backpack's the worst because it's all clear plastic and you gotta like there we go you gotta force the, the, I don't like these hinges at all. They're clear and they're scary. Pull that up, bring this back. Get the fucking legs out of the way. And then you're gonna peg the back into the shoulders, like so, right? And then it's immediately going to come undone again at some point as you're trying to do the rest of the figure. Tab that in. The fist has popped out, that's that's fantastic. Get the rest of this idiot, just like fold it out. Come on, C come on, C come on, there we go. This whole thing tab, oh my God, tab in. You can see how loose the legs are. And that's from before me freaking out with it. Then again, this was used. So like I chalk the loose joints partially down to this being used, but also down to, I got mud flap brand new and he was the exact same way out of the box, so. I assume Skids was too, but that's Skids. He doesn't stand. Oh my God, let's try, let's try, man. Come on, nope, come on. Nope, I forgot to do a step. Forgot to fold that in. Fold, fold in, fold in. There we go. And then 
I like to flare these out, but I also like to throw this thing in the trash, so there's that. Arm forward, maybe that'll balance. His backpacks come on I, I give up. What an ugly ass dude. I do like how the alt mode compresses into the robot, but that's like the only compliment I can give this thing. It's loose as hell, he's lopsided, the kibble's kind of poopy, and that head. That, that head was, and still is, so bad. He doesn't have the gold tooth, which actually is probably a good thing. <laughs> I've uh, I've had I've had to sit him down because he wouldn't stand up for this segment because he absolutely sucks. There's also this thing. I don't get why it does the head bobbing. Both of them do that. The fist on the goddamn gorilla arm pops forward into like a punching thing, which is actually kind of neat. But the biggest problem I have with this is the limbs and how they work. So Skids is posing is not very good. Stand up straight, you moron. It's not very good. Uh, for starters, he's always looking down because of how the backpack tabs in. If you untab the backpack, right, he looks forward. But once you peg it in, it pushes his head down. You can do the thing if you want. Uh, but the head is on a ball joint. It can rotate. The shoulders can rotate, do full 360. They can go out that far. You have bicep rotation. You have double jointed elbows on both sides. You got a wrist rotation on this side and a gorilla arm on this side, which we love. But the hand is articulated, but it's still a fist. And this is also like not five millimeter because it's, it's not, it's six millimeter. This is strange. Nothing at the waist. Hips can go forward and back and in and out. You got thigh rotation. You have a double bend at the knee that doesn't accomplish much. And then you have ankle tilt and ankle swivel. But the problem is trying to get him to stand because he has no heels and a really heavy back pack that's actually forward that's new it oh and the backpack oh and there it goes again the backpack does not stay in place very well i watched a lot of old tuner skids videos to prepare myself for this one to see what people thought back in the day when this came out and everyone's like oh good figure oh the backpack tabs in unlike mud flats an improvement he still sucks i actually i actually have mud flap too but he's sealed this was a mispackage that i bought you guys have seen this already many times but there he is right there this, this pack, by the way, was supposed to come with like iron hide and bone crusher, but but doesn't. I'm not opening that because I don't, I don't. This is horrible and I've experienced that mold. It is also horrible. I'm not opening it. And I don't like this one because you can't get him into a pose. You're like, ah, pop the fist out. Ah, yeah, bent knee, bend, bend the knee, not the shin. There we go. Bent knee, pose. He looks like a doofus. You turn him around and it's just, look at that. It's just car crap. And you know how he's standing? You wanna know how he's standing? Oh, I was gonna say he's standing because of the car kibble, but his thigh swivel is so incredibly horrible that it just, yeah, it's not a great toy. It's not. And it doesn't even like do the studio series scaling. So for people who buy scaling stuff, it's not worth getting. I got it just for the hunt for the Decepticon shelf, like I said, but. Yeah, it's, it's not, you can flare these down if you want these more down on the shoulders, but I personally prefer them up like that. It just kind of makes them look a little bit more dynamic. So yeah, don't, don't buy this. I mean, if you really, really want a skids and mud flap, sure. But like, it's not very good. The thing doesn't stand or stay together and it looks like poo. Not to mention, if you ask the designers about this, you'll get blocked. So, you, yeah, that's not great. But I would not recommend. If you desperately need one for your collection and you don't want the ice cream truck ones, I wouldn't pay more than 10 bucks for one of these. That's that's the highest I would say go. You can find it for that cheap if you go to like local shops or conventions. But it's even then, it's not quite worth it. But that's been my look at Tuner Skids from Hunt for the Decepticons. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.